Now, if you have a problem with Japanese knotwood, or you know someone who has... Not weed. What did I say? Knotwood? Yes. Not weed, I mean. <laughs> the weed that takes over everything and gets into walls and does terrible things. Well, if you know somebody who has got a problem of that sort, we may have the answer for you. At least the Commonwealth Agricultural Bureau may have the answer. It's Alpha Lara Itador. It's a bug, and the government's considering an application for a licence to introduce it uh, in order to let it get to work on knotweed, which has produced... Uh, terrible problems for people and which has proved impervious to so many attempts to stop its relentless progress. Well, Dr. Dick Shaw was the lead researcher on the project which identified this beastie, which can deal with knotweed. How does it do it, Dr. Shaw? Hi, good morning. Um, well, what it does is it sucks the sap out of the plant, and it's the, mainly the nymph stage that does that. The adults just lay the eggs and select the plant it wants to feed on, in this case only knotweed, and the, the, the nymphs get to, get to work and the plant becomes stunted and suffers and less competitive. And it's the way to deal with it, is it? Well, it's the only long-term sustainable solution we can see. We can't continue doing what we're doing, and doing nothing isn't an option, so it is just another option. But I should say it's not done and dusted. Uh, if someone's got Japanese knotweed in the garden or, you know, in the locality, and they want to get rid of it, and they say, oh, well, all we need is a box of Alpha Lara Itador, let them out in the <laughs> garden, and they'll deal with it, would they be right or wrong, and uh, would they be able to get these things anyway? Um, it depends if they want eradication or not. It's not in the interest of a, of a biocontrol agent, as we call them, to kill its host because then it loses its food. So it tends to just suppress it. Um, they shouldn't need to buy a, well, buy a box, get a box, because the, the plant, the insect will find the plant itself. It's a, it's a co-evolved specialist and that's its job. It just will take a little longer than people might hope. There's a question of licensing. Why? Um, well, it's an exotic introduction. We are introducing another alien species, which to some people sounds counterintuitive, but it's gone through a very thorough pest risk analysis, which is more than can be said for any other invasive. So there is a purpose. It has to be licensed through the Wildlife and Countryside Act and uh, pest risk analyses, and it's been peer-reviewed as well. So it's but do you think it's okay? I mean, it doesn't in other words, it doesn't do anything damaging alongside yeah. what it does. Yes, like, well, I, we wouldn't be here now if, if we thought there was any doubt over mm. its safety. It's been thoroughly tested. Over 90 species of very closely related plants, um, it's, it's been reviewed, it's, it's really, really is a, a knotweed specialist. And you think it'll deal with the problem? I hope so. You can, one of the problems we have with biological control is that, that we can never predict success. We can predict safety and what it won't do, and success is, you're often pleasantly surprised and horribly disappointed, but this one is showing all the characteristics of something that should be able to reproduce, spread, and damage the plant. Well, let's open the door and say hello to Alpha Lara Itador. <laughs> Dr. Dick Shaw, thank you very much indeed.